We're here at uh, Churn Creek today, close to the uh, Fraser River, where a very important event has uh, happened, the return of a petroglyph. And uh, we have Ron Ignace here, and I'd like to ask Ron, Ron, tell us a little bit about the significance of this event, what it is, and why it's happening. Well, the, the, the rock, I, I, uh, in, in our language, it's called uh, uh, the Yels, the meaning written on the rock. That's our, our history, our story, the essence of who we are, Shushua people. Uh, like the story was told today, the rock was given the responsibility to be caretakers of, of the land for us. Uh, and what I see happening here is what this rock has done is look at all the people that it's brought together. You know, it's, and that's what's happening uh, for many years. Uh, in the last hundred years from 1910 when our chiefs met with Sir Wilfrid Laurier until then we've been scattered and, and broken apart. Who we are as a people, we're like a broken cup. We're scattered to the four winds and all we have to do now is go and collect it and attract it all together. And I think that's, that's what this symbolizes here is the people coming back together. Our, our songs are coming back together, our dances, our, our stories and uh, you know our, our you know, symbols of who we are as a people, caretakers of this land, is all starting to reunite. And I'm hoping that, and, and I'm longing for the, to see the day that we will stand up again as one solid, united, proud nation uh, that will stand for the land, you know. Like, uh, and this is why I think this is so great today, you know. It's a, it's a movement and by the people, for the people, and that's where it has to all take place. There's a movement to a reconciliation, and uh, like our chiefs in 1910 said, you know, to, uh, that our fight is not with the ordinary citizenry who took up land in good faith. Our fight is with your government, you know, uh, but you have a duty and a responsibility to do the right After thing the by us, you know, and you. if we can move to that and begin recognizing and respecting each other. And they, went, they even went on to say, what's ours will be yours, and what's yours will be ours, and we'll help each other to be great and good. I saw the spirit of that coming back to life here, you know, uh, embers of it, you know, and we just gotta keep fanning those, those embers and create it into a flame so that we can uh, do that. I mean, our people uh, always were, uh, were open like that, and to guests, to tchlitim, uh, they said, when guests come into our house, we must be like brothers to them, you know. And that's where we need to get back to that essence of who we are as a nation, to be that magnanimous. And uh, we are. When you invite somebody into your house, you know, you must be brothers with them. And there was no distinction, like they, they, someone said out there, our blood is all runs red, you know. And that's what, it is, that symbolized the whole moment of, both native and non-native coming together that way. And I think that's where we need to go to and we need to get to that if we're to make a country that is great and good. You know, I can see that the rock has already taken on a life of its own. Already, uh, our friend, the singer out here, you know, he just, the, the rock touched his spirit and he began singing a song. He composed the song on a, a spot about the rock. I mean, that, that, that says it all, I believe. And I'll